hey guys welcome back and uh, my name is goodness and i am life with goody a lot of people say that life with goodies but it's actually life with goody goody coin from goodness yes just the goody stuff yeah Anyways, uh, I'm so sorry that this video is coming out late and it's because of, um, I won't say unforeseen circumstances but more of um, things that were so important that I had to take care of but I am back and today I just got back from work and I'm like I just have to do this video right now like i have to do i owe my fans this much i owe my people this much and you make people happy, happy so thank you so much for sticking with your girl and if you're a returning subscriber i'm so glad to have you here again yeah so without much ado i today i'm going to be talking about how i met um my husband and i remember telling you guys that this video is going to come up before any other video that was after that video of Q and A but I've shot some videos before that and I was like I promise that the next video that is going to come up will be how we met so I was just like you know what I'm still going to do the how we met video so I am going to be taking you through that right now and also sharing good news next in the next video obviously so Let's dive right into the video that we have for today. So, how I met Mr. Moses, <laughs> as I used to call him. So, I met my husband in 2016. Oh, <laughs> I met him in 2016 and... Yeah, we started seeing each other 2016, obviously. So, but before that, I was just coming out of... Uh, first love relationship where I had my heart broken. I thought I was going to move on as quickly as possible. I thought this person is like the only person I'm going to be with. You know all this younger age stuff. I'm still young obviously but as of that time I was still thinking it's going to be this guy or nobody else but it didn't work out. So 2016, I was, we actually had a break, we decided to go our separate ways and that was when, okay this was how it happened, so my sister's friend actually introduced me and my husband, so it wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't like we met physically, no it didn't happen like that, we were actually match made and yeah we are. So the I think that was February if I'm not mistaken or March I'm not quite sure right now. So March I went to Ibadan. I came to Ibadan from school. So at that time I was still school in Abeokuta Federal University of Agriculture. For those of you in Nigeria, you will know that place. And for those people here in Canada, Federal University of Agriculture is um, my university back um in nigeria so i went um i went to bad on my uncle's place for like the weekend and when i got there i went to see my my sister took him from uh school at that time so we were together and a friend just came to see her in Ibadan too and when she came um i met this guy guy was supposedly her boyfriend as of that time so we're just talking 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 and he was like oh yes someone know that you would like us to meet and you know now i was like okay all right let's see how it goes so the first person actually that we met together it didn't work for some reasons i'm not going to be disclosing in this video so he didn't work out then he was like oh he has someone else this one is quite intelligent but he's a short guy i was like okay let's see how it goes so he said he would give him 
my own number and then i just moved on i thought it wasn't going to happen again after the first thing so i went home and i remember it was march during easter friday i remembered my husband's message came in on an easter friday i was in church and he was just like hi there i'm moses i collected your number from so 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 and so i was like oh hi so nice to be talking to you and then we chatted i remember that first night we chatted to like midnight like it was just instant clicking like we just vibed we talked about a lot of things and all that so funny enough <laughs> about a week later it was like okay before that time it was like let's just start off as friends which we did we were talking a week later it was just like you know what i'm just going to um he asked me out like <laughs> so when he asked me out i said he should give me some time and i'm going to i'm going to think about it <laughs> and you will not believe what mr moses did mr moses has ego he has ego he now said you know what if um you're not going to answer me just let me know asap i'm not the one that you will be telling i have to think about it for a long time and i was like wait i'm even the one that is supposed to be doing shakara now as per ladies ladies stuff it was sure like i was like okay but then I already liked him so it wasn't much of a question but it wasn't much of a consideration but no man no man the lady would just do that we think about it which I gave him to reply two days after yeah and then we started dating we started dating April 8th April 8th we didn't see each other even before we started dating and I think we saw each other May may of 2016 he came to ibado and then we went for a wedding together and that was all he left for bomo show i went to school and he went to abuja again so that time he was still in abuja and that was it and what happened we started eating april as i told you guys may june july august august was when i got to know that i was going to be traveling to the uk for his masters i was pumped i was like i've been in a long distance relationship all my life i can't just imagine being in another right now so ah uh, we talked about it i was like he's like it's not going to be like other men it's not going to be like other guys it was going to come back i was like okay let's see how it goes and then september i remember he traveled two days to my bed it was september 28th or maybe he landed september 28th i can't remember to the uk and then i was trying to break up with him but then he stayed he was so assertive he was like no we're in this together I'm, I'm going to prove you wrong i'm going to prove them wrong i'm going to tell you that i'm in this 100 percent and i was like okay why not let's see how it goes and then we started it was smooth 2016 we're good 2017 we're good <laughs> actually we're good 2017 so and 2018 hmm, was when we had a major break yeah i think for the most part of 2018 we were we were at the local it's we weren't talking we took a break in fact it was a break of not even a break it's just like go your way i go my way and what happened was because i wasn't really feeling the vibe because i'm actually serious right now mr moses is actually very intentional about our relationship and is like a guy that we always check on you several times in a day and then he just started and then he wasn't talking to me i would text him it would take him like three days for him to reply i wasn't just feeling it anymore and i was just like you know what i actually just talked to him i was like instead of us to be doing this why not just escort this over and let each other go our separate ways so we went our separate ways and that was it like 
I cried. I remembered. I remembered I was to resume 400 level when it happened. That was my final year in school. And yeah, I cried. And what happened? I remember top where um, Funke, Natasha, Inkechi, and all other bunch of people, Benro. Yeah, those people were my friends um hostel meet. So my my friend was staying in better ways as it be hostel as at that time. So <laughs> I remember when it happened, I just cried, they took me out, I had anything to put that in. like they were just telling me cry and eat, cry and eat, sleep. So that was basically what I was doing. So they were around me a lot. I didn't feel the breakup whenever I want to start thinking like this. It was just like, oh, let's go and get chicken and chips. Oh, let's go and get hexagon rice. That was when hexagon rice was raining in my school at that time. So I was fine. I wasn't, I was, I was, but then Mr. Moses was suffering because obviously he did not have anybody to like take him out and all that. But yeah, girl did it. So after that, unknowingly to me that he was constantly checking up on me through my sister like he would always text my sister or maybe call i don't know just like oh why is goodness doing and all that but my sister felt like she didn't want me to know because she didn't want me to get my heart broken it did she didn't know if he was still in if he was still serious about the relationship and all that then yeah we came back so I remembered I was sick and I was rushed home. Okay, I, I actually went home because I was seriously ill. And I think he got to know through my sister, so he couldn't take it anymore. He just had to put a call through to me. And it was just like, I just wanted to check up on me and my feeling. I said, I was like, oh, I'm fine, thank you. I wasn't expecting him to like message me or call me. Which he did by the way. And after that, <laughs> what happened? Go about my day. And then one night he just we were chatting. He just said, I love you. And I'm like, say what? Pardon? You mean come again, say what? What do you mean? Like <laughs> me. You love me. Where is that coming from? I was like, hey, sorry, and uh, you shouldn't have let me go, all this blah, blah, blah. She had said it, I was like, okay. That's when I was just like, you know what, I'm going to start my own shakara too. And I, give, I remember I gave him a number of rules that this is, you have to abide by this right now. And I was like, oh, okay, he's ready to move, he's ready to go, that and all that. Then 2018 went, the blow, and then he came home to see my parents. His parents. That was when he moved to the. He left UK for Canada. So, en route Canada, he came to Nigeria. From Nigeria, he moved to Canada. And we didn't talk again through 2019. Well, we didn't see, no, we didn't talk. We were talking, obviously. We were actually preparing for just introduction and court wedding 2020. But then, no, introduction was just like a mini get together where families will meet each other, show me to the family, and then at a later date to pick the wedding, wedding date and all that. And then we'll go and do the court's wedding so that we can file for my application. And then I can come over to, to Canada and join him and we start a life together. But um, in the process, the stress was too much on me. I remember my husband saying he wasn't ready to get married anymore. He wanted time for himself and all that. I was just like, oh. But then I, he was overwhelmed, so I actually know where it's coming from. And I took it up in prayers and everything got settled and boom all that it happened and relationship has a lot of challenges we've um, come to terms with ours and it's not safe it's void of um, argument that we said so no relationship is perfect but with God on our side with Holy Spirit trying to tell us what to do and we are daring to it listening and knowing our role 
of each person, knowing the rule of each person in a godly and Christian home, is able to me, even your family, and not keeping grudges. I'm not saying my relationship is perfect, but I have the most suitable husband for me, which I'm so grateful for, which I am thankful to God for, and which he is also, because I am a speck, yeah. But anyway, so that's it. I just say I should come and tell you how we met, and yeah. So that's how I met Mr. Moses and boom, yeah, yeah. So let me know in the comment section. Engage me. How you met your spouse? Or how you met your current partner? How are you making it work? Doing? Or if anybody is in a long distance relationship, let me know how you feel. I've been there before. I know the ordeal. I know what what goes down and all that so send you love and light if mine can work i know yours will so so eyes on the go baby eyes on the go so yeah thank you so much for watching and i told you in the next video i'm going to be sharing a huge good news yeah and i'm not going to be diverging i'm not going to be diverging the details but be sure that i'm going to tell you about it in the next video and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like share do all the good stuff please let's get this subscribers so okay please please let's get this so preach the gospel <laughs> Oh my god did i just say preach the gospel well preach the news of this channel to your friends recommend and if it has been helpful for you please click the like button thank you so much and take care cheers